Hi angels, welcome back to another resin video. So we're gonna be making another resin bag clutch. Yeah. So the kit I bought from Amazon. I, already, I thought that I already bought the mold, but I cannot find it. I have like three molds, three different shapes. I have all of those, but could not find this one. So that's the inspo. Obviously, my best friend sent me some, sent me this purse on TikTok. I'm like, oh, it'd be cute. You could definitely make it. So I was like, oh, okay. Why not try? But I wanted to add my own colors and everything. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using some pigments. I just decided to, wet, to just go with black, white, and gold. So, I already mixed up my resin. I'm adding on in there my pigments. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Oh, I don't know if I said this before, but everything that I'm using in this video, I got from Amazon. And I'll leave the link in the description box down below. Make sure you're wearing gloves while doing this. I could not find any gloves. Don't know why, because I should definitely have a stack of them around here. Mixing up some black, then some white, and then some gold. Now the white. The white is always so pretty. Mixing, mixing, mixing. I don't really like the black. You're going to see the bag when I'm finished with it. I don't really like the colors. I don't know why. So I decided to make another one. And I'm going to show you guys that at the end of the video. But I didn't show the full process of it. Because it's like really the exact same step. Only thing I'm doing is just using different colors. So it doesn't make no sense to... To just do the video again. So yeah. Mixing, mixing, mixing. You can start pouring down the black. There's two parts of the moles, but you have to buy separate. You can see the other part, but I'm just adding on here some black, then some white. This really don't take a lot of resin to um to fill it up. <coughs> I needed some more resin, so I needed some more black, so I have to mix it up. So that's what I'm doing right there in the corner. Mixing, mixing, mixing. I don't know the exact amount that I'm using, so I know somebody's on accent. I don't really measure. What am I doing? Oh, I'm doing it out of bag as well. Then the scoop in all of the resin to the corners so that it can all be filled in. Then you can start just doing some wiggly line or whatever you want for the white and for the goals. We're going for a marble effect. This bag, I don't think it gave me the marble effect that I wanted. So that's why I end up making a different one. But you can get the idea from here. Now I'm just doing a little squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. Just mixing up all the colors. It looks so cute. I thought that, for some reason, I thought that it, would, it would stay like this, but when it started to dry, everything just went directly into the middle. So you know, it ended up not staying like this, which is fine. And this is the, the other bag. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. Obviously, there's some space that's missing. So the leftover resin that I had... I just put it in there. I'm not doing the same wiggly, wiggly, wiggly effect. The wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> and after this, I just let it sit for 24 hours. Was it 24 hours? Yeah, 24 hours for it to dry. I think I took it out a little bit too early because I did this in the night and then I took it out in the morning. So I didn't give it enough time for it to fully cure. We're just going to see what happens if you take it out of the mold too early. And then when you take it out, at a perfect timing. 
Also, this wasn't really a lot of bubbles, but it makes sense to just go over it with a lighter just to avoid any bubbles. So that's what I'm doing with my lighter. And that is that. That's it. Oh, sorry about the noise. My neighbor keeps on leaving a dog outside, and the dog just barks all day, every single day. Adding some more gold, some more white, using up all the resin that I have left over. Because obviously, when your resin dries, it's not like if you're going to reuse it, so you need to just use it up while you have it. <coughs> yep. Yeah. Alrighty, so 24 hours later, this is what I meant when everything just went straight to the middle. This is not fully dry, so you guys want to see how it's very bendy bendy. Like if this will just fall apart, you see? So soft. I don't know why I didn't just leave it in the mold. Like it would make sense. Like clearly it is not ready. But oh no, I still decided to take it out. After I took it out, I just laid it down flat so that it could fully cure properly. Otherwise, there's really nothing I can do about it. But yeah, it's clearly not fully dried. So this one is actually a little bit more than 24 hours. And this is how it's coming out of the mold. It's a little bit bendy, but it's better than the first one. And voila, there it is. The inside looks so cute. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Kind of like if you had some glitter in it. Okay, now with my E6000 glue that I also got from Amazon and this, um, what do you call it, wire frame also came with the kit. All I'm doing is just adding on the, the E6000 glue around the edges and then I just attach in the clutch. And then with the E6000 glue, you just have to leave it for overnight or 24 hours for it to fully cured. And that's that. Just popping it on there. Flipping it over and doing the exact same thing to the other side as well. By the way, you don't need a lot of glue with this, just a little bit. Just a little smidge. And make sure that you pop it all the way down. You don't really have to do that, but yeah, just let it sit flat so that it could dry properly. Okay, so this is the last step. So I got this statue sculpture thingy from Amazon. So cute. It comes separately and it comes as a set like this. So I just bought it as a set. Also, I got my E6000 glue because that's what I'm going to use to glue it on together. Pretty cool. So I'm going to put it on here to see how it would look. Where I need to line it up. And all that good stuff. I should probably put it on the other side, but I was just worried like if I was still going to be able to open the bag or not. So, yeah, that's why I did it that way. So I'm just adding on a little bit of the E6000 glue at the bottom. And then I'm just going to put it onto the bag and then leave it overnight for it to dry. And that's it. Quick and easy. I'm gonna show you guys the glue and how much I use. So I'm just gonna pop it on there, and obviously the bag, the bag cannot stand on its own. So I have to lean it up to something so it could dry properly and all that good stuff. But yeah, this is basically it. It looks pretty. I don't know if I so told you guys already, but I don't personally like the way how this turned out. It's just black and gold. I feel like if I should have add more colors, but again, I didn't think to myself that all of the colors were just gonna soup all the way down through the middle so I definitely do want to make another one hopefully make it in time to attach to this video but this is how the bag turned out pretty cute you can open it you can use it it's just a normal bag
Oops. Inside of the bag looks pretty cool, but well, that's one thing I can say. 